just in case. How are you going? Um, in my work room today, I have to get ready for the Ipswich Doll Show on Sunday. So <clears throat> I have my work buddy, um, Angela's coming over soon and we're going to pack up the shop and get it all ready for the show on Sunday. So lots of work to do, always, always a task. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I still have my cough. You're going to have to accept my apologies. So yeah, I thought I would do my live stream in here today. I don't have the babies with me. Um, they are upstairs having a rest. Good morning, Jessica. Well, we're still asleep, actually. Morning, Deb. How are you going? So I'm sad that I don't, have, I don't get to see Jessica and I don't get to see Deb and I don't get to see Lane this weekend. That's a little bit... And Bernadette. That's a little bit sad. It's always sad when you go to a doll show and your, your old mateys aren't there. Bernadette said good morning, Annette and everyone. Deb says, I am going. You're going good, I'm hoping you're saying. <laughs> and Gigi too says morning, everyone. Oh, all my mates that normally, well, not normally, occasionally come to the Ipswich doll show. But that's okay because they save the best and that's to come to our convention in December. Reborn Playground says hi from New Zealand. Hi, I'm sure I feel like you purchased from me. I've got a few um, customers in New Zealand who often get their stock from me. So if you do, yay. If you don't, time to buy from me. Yes. <laughs> Deb says good. Yeah, you thought, said you are good. Um, I thought so. Oh, look at that little tiny spider. That's all right. I've got, I'm getting everything ready. Um, so here I've got all like my sheets and that that I use for tablecloths and stuff like that. Um, oh, I to get that basket in the ground now, I think. So most of you have been through this drill before. Hi, Sean, how are you going? But, so this, all of this, all of this stuff in, well, that side of the shelf and the other side of the shelf and little bits and pieces here and there um they all get boxed up and and we take them to the show so it's it is a task um and this time we've been working on good morning angela i will see you soon this time we've been working on um barcodes so all of our products have barcodes now making it easier for people to see prices and also making the whole process of um the sale from start to finish to go a lot quicker so if it gets really busy then you know you can go with it uh sean said i'm with jesus at my side that is beautiful i hope that is just a general thing and not um because you're unwell and he needs to be right beside you at the moment i'm just hoping it's a general thing and he's always with you um i would hate to know that something's wrong at the moment Deb says morning, Angela, and Deb also says morning to Gigi, and Angela says morning, Deb. Bernadette said I'm packing up today too, but for a week away, not a doll show yet. That's okay. A week away is pretty good still, you know. That's quite, I'll go with that any day of the week. Um, yeah, so I've got some kits down here I've been working on. They go, these ones here are all named and like, I'll show you what. Do I'll show you. So I've got like many of you may have seen it, may not have. I've got like big paper bags where they go in, and on the outside, like the kit itself, like a photograph of the kit, and like a little bit about it the size and the limb size, and that that goes on the outside. So they're just a few kits that are going to come with me on the weekend so yeah something just not a lot um i don't know for this week um i'm normally feeling really quite positive about the ipswich doll show but i don't know i just feel like it's going to be a little bit <coughs> quiet this time around <coughs> i'm trying to think positive that it's going to be really really busy but there's apparently there's supposed to be rain here this weekend and there hasn't really been a lot of talk about it. Um, there's not a lot of hype this time. So I'm like, mm, 
kind of feeling like, oh, I've got a lot of work to do and it better be good. But anyway, it's always a day out and you get to spend with your mates, which is always really fun. Um, so that's positive. That's a positive thing. Gigi said, enjoy Bernadette. And Bernadette said, I hope to Gigi. Definitely. Where are you going? Elaine Tia says, hi, hi, how are you going? I hope you're doing good. So, yeah, basically everything in the shop pretty much comes. I am cutting a few corners this time. Um, normally I, like, clear out my A to Z of kits, which are all on my website. But this time I'm going to leave them all there. And I'm bringing the ones, like I said, just a few. And not a crazy amount. I've got all of these kits behind me. Now see on the on the ground there, there those two bags filled with kits. There's probably ugh, a good ugh, a good seventy kits there. They're all kits that are still to be listed on my website. So this time, like I said, um, going to the doll show, I thought I'm going to take some kits along with me that actually aren't listed on my website yet. And that saves me sort of ripping to shreds my A to Z, um, taking it all out and then having to put it all back. So, oh, coughs, that's, oh, wonderful. That's really great. Beautiful. Gigi said, Annette, what is the name of the, the kit that you bought? I can get it if you like. I'm, I'm off the top of my head. I'm not sure, but I can I can go get it right now if you like. It'll take me a second. I'm just gonna do it. You don't have a choice. It is Vince, baby Vince. There's a little COA on Vince. And here's his little face. It's so cute, look at his tongue. Sean said, is any of those a Natalie kit? Um, no, I do not think, uh, do you mean like the sculptor Natalie or the baby's name is Natalie no 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 Natalie's in there but maybe in there yeah so Vince is coming your way very soon everything is ready I've got to make sure to put that back in my lay-by box so I don't get confused this weekend excellent Gigi says and Jessica said cute it will be really cute I cannot wait to see what Gigi does with it, that's for sure. It's really cool. Uh, so thanks to those this week um, who made it to my live streams on TikTok. Um, I've, I told you guys last week that I'm going to be trying to do a few live streams on TikTok. But the ones I do on TikTok, I'm not really as um, chatting directly to people. I'm sort of working on whatever I'm working on, which at the moment is some painted hair. And every now and I, I sort of talk along what I'm sort of doing. I guide people where I'm up to and what I'm doing. Um, and every now and again, I try to talk to see if there's any messages. But the camera's sort of facing down and it's sort of at this level. So I have to sort of go like this to see if I've got any messages. So generally, I just sort of talk to myself, which is really quite important. It's, it's, it's very important. A, a sculpt called Natalie. All right, I'll have a look out for you. I don't have a Natalie in my drawers at the moment. I know that, but there possibly could be in there. Gigi said money should be there today, I pray. Yay, okay. <coughs> That's really cool. Thank you very much for that. <coughs> Should have booked it in on this morning's career. <coughs> yeah, so Angela and I will run amok today and pack everything up, which is just fun. But, oh, 
I've got to say the you know the doll show on is always a blast regardless of sales made and things like that um this time I'm selling um a couple of my silicons I told, told you about last week that I'm going to sell to actually purchase um a, just one so one is actually already sold let me see but these are the ones that are selling still so this one the dog the rabbit the elephant the mermaid and there's a little catty cat there little cat so they're all silicon so i just thought you know i love them and everything someone asked me a question about the this the other day and see how you can see a little bit of its butt there they're like what the what the f did you do to its ars <laughs> and i was just like oh okay i'm not talking to you anymore so so yeah those are the ones that i'm sort of selling on the weekend and like i said i really do love them and everything but his eye needs to be fixed fix your little eye there but i think to myself well it's time for someone else to love them i might love them but they just sit there um i i've always enjoyed them i used to love ozzy the dog i used to love you know sitting him in the top of my top there and and he'd just sit out it was really sort of relaxing and everything but yes it's time to move on i need to all about decluttering now and making more space so i thought well if i sell the the two silicon babies and then the animals and then i can just get the one silicon baby that i like i'm getting like a partial with just one quarter limbs that's what i really want um it's really cute i cannot wait to get it but um i have to sell those to get it so that's where i'm at matthew says me and deb are going on a surprise outing tomorrow that's beautiful i hope you have a wonderful day Sean says, you get to reborn for my goddaughter. Yay! I'm very excited about that. Bernadette said, I'm looking for Half Pint. Ooh, by Marita Winters. Or Evie Grace by Ruth Annette. And a patient. Patience. Okay. I don't think I've got patience. Evie Grace, you never know. Half Pint. I do have one in my own collection. I just don't know if I'm to sell it or not but um if something doesn't come up and, and you're really frustrated you know let's talk again and maybe you never know i uh, do you said is that uh lakeisha is that how you say it shauna reborn nursery uh, reborn playground nursery said i buy reborn dolls painted kits on ally express online and i put together and sell reborn dolls for some business oh okay fair enough having it just a play getting used to things um yeah um i wanted to say angela it's this reborn playground nursery um she used to come you've come on my live stream a few times i think you have but angela i wanted to say when reborn playground nursery used to come on i used to sometimes think it was heidi so when you came on before Reborn Playground Nursery. I I instantly thought of my friend Heidi because I, I used to think that was her. So I'm sure you've been here before. Kylie said, I have a question for you. Do you know how to put I in back of doll that has no back on it? It's challenging. It really is challenging because, you know, they move and everything a lot. Um, the best The best real scenario to do is to sort of, like create some kind of backing or put like a putty behind it there's like certain eye putties and things you can get um but yeah some kind of backing is always like make some kind of backing it's challenging i know um it can be really challenging or if there's only one eye then you try to put the first eye in the odd eye glue it in place sometimes i'll get paddle pop sticks and put them in the neck and sort of put them through the head so the paddle pop stick is holding it in place like that and then when they dry make the other eye if it if it does have the backing uh in the same sort of position that's a, an option as well <coughs> but yeah it's always about trying to just get something behind it but 
if you can get some kind of putty, um, something that's really pliable that you can sort of even put over the, put the eye in. I know it's hard to get our hands in there, but get your hand in there and sort of putty it in place. So you're sort of molding in a place. And yet it's really hard because of the movement. It really depends how the eye socket is. Sometimes they're really generous, but sometimes the eye socket, you know, wants to push back out the eye. So that gets challenging too. <coughs> Sean said, yes, Gigi. Matthew says, morning, Elaine and Gigi. Reborn Playground says, my name is Robin Campbell. I know that name. You have, you sure you, have you purchased from me before? I just, that name is very familiar. Uh, Elaine says, morning, Matt. Gigi says, morning, Matt. Kylie said, I love your kids, but they're out, kits, but they're out of my reach. That's fine. There is a lot of very expensive kits at the moment because they're all rare old kits. There is some kits that are, are um, not out of reach. Um, but yes, I do understand at the moment there is, there's a more. So this one at the moment is not too bad. Uh, Tika, it's by Seacrest. It's a full limbs, no COA, but it's a 21 inch reborn, only 70 bucks. So that's, that's kind of something that's in reach. There's always something that's in reach, but there's a lot that are out of reach as well. So, yeah. But, you know, come to, come, come the years to come, there'll be specials and things like that as well. Kyra by Eva Helland. That's $70. That includes postage too. So, yeah, there's always something. Uh, Bernadette said, you can glue a piece of felt or fabric over the back of the eyes. Yes, that's as well. Yes, definitely you can do that. Mm, there's, there's a few things you can do, but it, it can be frustrating. Um, I have someone, I have someone that um, had to glue the back of a Saskia eye and it kept moving. Um, but in the end, she left one crooked and one not. And it looked absolutely adorable. It looked like, you know. That's how his eyes were. One eye was a bit crooked and he just kind of looked like a little bit of a special needs baby. Um, and I, I I personally think it just made him look 10 times more ador adorable. So in the end, you know, I told her that and she said, yeah, actually, and she, she kept it like that and she really loved having him just like that. Gigi said, when I was making ceramic and modeling, dolls we used to glue felt on the back of the ice there you go there you go Kylie said so cute Matthew said does it get expensive for rebonds it can do it really just depends I mean you could do it on the cheap scale and some people do get the babies that are, are fake babies from some of the Chinese sites and that's okay uh, the reborn community would not like me for saying that's okay because that's really mm, that's really taboo in the reborn community but I do get, especially these days, um, it's really, really expensive to buy kits. It's really expensive. But um, if you want to, you know, get professional and you want to uh, get a good clientele, you really have to stick with the um, authentic sculptors. And there's thousands of authentic sculpts that you can still get uh, cheap. You can get them secondhand and things like that. So. You know, you've just got to weigh up how how you want to do it. You know, yeah. So it can be expensive, but it can also be inexpensive as well. Many of the paints, you know, really go the distance. So even with the Magical Realism air dry paints, you can get many, many babies out of just a trial set. Uh, you will have to purchase like the matte varnish and kit prep, some more of that. That's a small price to pay. And then with the weight inside, you can get tumbled glass, which is, you know, the most cost effective. You can get premium if you want to make your baby premium. So there's always ways around things. Our brushes and sponges and that, we tend to reuse them. So in a way, um, in a way, there's no excuse. In a way, there is an excuse. It really depends, you know, what where you, how you're looking at it, how you're looking at it. It's just like buying baby clothes you know people say i can't can't dress my baby well you can kmart's really cheap 
second hand shops are getting a bit expensive things like that there's ways around everything i find you've just sometimes you've just got to get lucky and find someone selling a bunch of kits and things like that so it does happen not always but it does happen so what's everyone got planned for the weekend doll show for me uh deb and matthew are going on a special date tomorrow I guess if it did, depends if you have money. Well, yeah, I guess if you've got money to spare is the, is the thing these days with, you know, rent and fuel and rego and all those kind of things. Electricity all going up. Some people don't have the spare cash. But, you know, I guess, you know, you could always say it just comes down to a little bit of self-control. Um, you know, someone could at least maybe put five bucks aside a week and you know save up to buy the things they need um i'm quite often very very low on money but i do things like i save all my change so um that i can get something down the line things like that or i'll sell something that i don't need anymore deb says my sally by bonnie brown has not backing on the eye they were very hard to put eyes in Jessica said, me and Laura donated dog toys to RSPCA yesterday. That is beautiful. Wow. That would have been so fun. That would have been really, really so fun. Deb said, it's our belated anniversary date. Okay, so one year, is that? Gigi said, lovely Jess. Reborn Playground said, do you do some craft work? Yes. It's a good idea. Um, Gigi said, enjoy, Deb and Matt. Bernadette said, I have return and earn money. Sell stuff we don't need anymore. Yes, that's what I do. And I find, you know, especially on Marketplace, um, I go to a lot of markets too on the weekend. So I, I quite often pick up things which are really cheap, $2 here and there, um, to resale or stuff from my house. But I find with Marketplace, you will always sell the thing you want. Um, you just, Sometimes you've just got to be patient and hold on. I had this um, twin breastfeeding pillow that I bought from a Lifeline. It was still in the bag. It was brand new. I bought it for $10. It was an expensive brand. I think it was like about $170 brand new. And I just had it on Marketplace for $50. Bucks. Um, and I just left it there. Probably for about four weeks. And I sold it and I was just wrapped, you know. Um, someone actually got me to post it for them and I had to shove it, shove, shove into a big satchel. But I did it because I wanted the money. But, you know, things like that. I mean, I made 40 bucks on that. That was really positive. But like I said, I had to lie around my house and be a little bit annoying uh, for a few weeks. But in the end, I made that little bit of profit and I was just so chuffed with it. And I've done a few of those sort of things lately. I've like I said, I go to markets and that, and especially when you get to the end of the markets, people get desperate. They just want to get rid of things. And I get lots of, you know, really great bargains and, you know, sell them on. That's what I do. <coughs> one year. Well, congratulations on your one year anniversary, guys. How exciting. How exciting. Are you just going for the day out or are you going for the weekend away? That would be very special. One of my chickens is laying an egg out the back. I can hear it clucking away. Yeah, so, well, <laughs> it really clucked then. So, yeah, I'm hidden here and I've got to pack up all my stuff. Very excited. Very excited. Just going to be a good day today. And it's really sunny. It's supposed to be... <laughs> the chicken's really going for it. It'll probably stop. Uh, by the way, guys, I've, I don't, can't find where my microphone is. I've put it down somewhere and I don't know where. Let me hear the chickens in a minute.
having a bit of a hard egg today. <laughs> share. Sharing is caring. I had to share the information with you. Yeah. So, maybe I should start packing. That was what I'm here for doing. Yes, I know. So, oh, I have to show you. I got a, um, a frog hotel. And it's not there at the moment, but a real frog in this week. There was a real frog. Obviously, you can see there's fake frogs. But last time I saw him, he was in here. Um, and I haven't seen him. I looked last night and he wasn't in there. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's in there. But anyway. It was nice that he moved in, so I'm trying to attract the little frogs with all my water features. <laughs> um, Janine's here. She said, hello, Annette. Hi, how are you going? Louise said, uh, what doll show are you going to? The Ipswich Gala doll show? Sorry about the loud, loud kookaburra sound. Angela told me yesterday it's really loud when it comes on. So I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> and Angela said I told them to lay in in morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, Deb says uh, then we have Sharks game tomorrow afternoon. But Elaine will be there too. Oh, that's exciting. Very cool. Okay, let's get this started, guys. Let's let's do some work. Let's just do a little bit. I've got a really big box here. This is my show box. And if it ever goes broken, I'll be sad. Because it fits everything in. It's incredible. Oh, yes. Thumbs up, everyone. So I'll open up and get it ready. And yes, we start with mm, mm. all of these sort of things. Look, see, they've got little prices on. But before I put them in, I'll probably do a bit of a refill. So I'll just put them, I'm just going to put them on the table first, I think. And then I can go about packing them all. This one's nice and full, so that's good. Yeah, I just keep touching my barcodes. It's really fun. Do you want to see? Do you want to see how it looks like when I'm doing my little barcodes? Like what? What? Yes. Yes, you do because I've just said. Okay. I wish you could go to the doll show too. I wish you could. Okay. Chicken's still having a chat out there. Now, mind my mess everywhere, guys. There is mess everywhere. There's a reason. I'm getting ready for a doll show. That's my reason. So I'll just get this set up because it takes takes a minute every day to reset my scanner. It's just really rude. Oh, how about it? Get scanner. Oh, I hope I didn't. Oh yeah. I was like, oh my god, I've just pressed the wrong button. Okay. So I'm just getting it ready now. Turn it on. Oh, you live in Queensland too, Louise. Oh, wow, that's exciting. Anyway, we're in Queensland. Uh, no, you don't need to have insurance for the baby show because um, for a table. Because that's normally what the... Um, uh, the venue or the organisers arrange. I mean, it's better if you have your own, obviously, always, but okay, let's just see. Yes, let's go back. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, go down, go back. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's turn you around and let's hope I get this right. Okay, so 
I've got lots of stuff on the table here. So this is what my screen looks like. So I could add a customer here, let's say Joe Blow. <laughs> it's Joe Blow. We're going to add that new customer right there. And um, I'll just save that. So Joe Blow is here. And um, normally I have products to scan. But at the moment I've got this really cool barcode pricing. And this is like if really things are really small. So I've got this little barcode scanner. It's really cute. So all I have to do is go over the top of one of these. I, what? Oh, of course you're going to be a nasty, nasty, nasty thing. Okay. Okay, let me just fix that again. Because it's going to be, it's just going to piss me off, all right? <laughs> it normally just works so perfectly. But, oh, okay, I didn't, I didn't fully set that. So let me do this again. Well, we'll go back to Joe Blow in a minute. Okay, barcode scan. Let's do this again. And unfortunately, I have to do this every day because, oh yeah, I see, um, because um, it's connected to the back of my little till. Oh, wait till you see it. It's so cute. It's really cute. It's it's just really cute. Okay, it's just connecting. It's connected. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go back to Joe Blow. Joe Blow. Here we are. Check Chicken burgers. Chicken burgers. Okay, so Joe Blow is going to buy some ice. <gasps> Look. And also, Joe Blow is going to buy some some brushes oh don't you fall <laughs> of course you want to fall of course you want to be annoying talking to joe blow mate okay okay so and a stipple painting sponge okay so let's say that they joe has just bought that and then i've got to go to press the checkout button to check out and then we can say that um, they're giving us cash. And let's say it was $18.90. Let's say they're giving us $19. So here's my little till down here. So I can say, look, see, I've set it up. All my little cash that goes in there and all my, oops, all my coins in here, of course. And then I could say that I want to print a receipt. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. There's your receipt, Joe Blow. Thank you very much for shopping today. I wonder, I'm just looking to see if it's got his name on there, Joe Blow. It doesn't. But how cool is that? How cool. Everyone tell me how cool that was. That was exciting. I mean, just playing with this alone, just just scanning things is just exciting. <laughs> Gigi said I'm very organised in it. Well, it took a while. That was an expensive process, but um, oh, Bundaberg, you'll have to come down for the um, Art Dolls of Australia convention. It's in Ipswich, 1st of December, but it's huge. It's a full-on reborn convention. So think about doing that. You can have a little holiday down here. <coughs> Good on you, Debs, with the Sharks game. Uh, Gigi said, anyway, how is it going, Angela? Ready for the weekend? She's doing really well, too. She's going to be here soon. Um, she got her own little barcode system going, too. So we're going to be, like, clicking away, beep, 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 from behind my counter. It's going to be very beepy. People are thinking we're going to be swearing all day. And look how I come back and sat down here instead of going and doing working over there. Happy birthday to Teresa and Matthew said that's awesome. So yes, I'm very excited by that. It's um 
definitely my baby. And, uh, you know, sometimes I have to walk away from the, the table to do stuff. And um, my friend Lisa helps. Um, and now it'll just be that much easier for her just to go and, um, oh well, her just to go and, you know, scan it. She doesn't have to worry that I'm, I'm gone. I think we both set it up because when we're doing Art Dolls of Australia in December, we're always away from our table. And whoever is working on our table, sometimes they have no idea. I never have really had prices on my products. Um, so well now I have prices on my products or if they're too small, I have them in the barcode book. Misha's talking to Will out there. No, there's no story time today, unfortunately. I've got to get my stuff all organised. I've got my blending brushes here. Again, I'll have to restock them. So I'll leave, obviously leave them on the table. Lots of things going on. I did, I've got four things on the table, so I have made a start. So, you know, no judgement there. This I've got to fix up one of these little... It's all falling out. It's like one of the deluxe hair implanting packs. I should have barcoded that, shouldn't I? I will. I will. I'll put that aside. Oh, Angela is on her way. Yay! <coughs> Matthew said, do you sell babies from home? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Most of the babies I sell from home are secondhand babies. So I've got a couple up there. Hang on, not up there. Those ones up there are my babies. So just a couple up here, some secondhand babies. So I sell those from home. I also make babies, but um, generally when it comes to um, making babies and that, they're on order and that's a whole other process really, isn't it? So, oh, look, I can get something else down. That doesn't really need refilling. I haven't even got a barcode done for that. How rude. Pencils. I've got to refill them. Ha um, that's just rude. I haven't refilled them. Oh. These are my new organic toothbrushes, which are really, really great for, um, I'm looking for a baby there, you know, brushing your baby's hair. They're nice and soft. Nice and soft. They come in blue or pink, so depending on what you like better. And yeah, they're just really, I think they're really nice to have in your reborn kit if you're a reborn artist. And normally we have just these sort of ones, which are obviously baby toothbrushes, but they're so bright and a bit gaudy sometimes, you know. I like having the, you know, like just a bit personalised for yourself, just sticking with your own special colour. Got to fill up the paintbrushes there too. So these paintbrushes now come in the pink the green and the purple. So trying to get a variety there because we know I might have my favorite colors as pink and green, but that doesn't mean everyone else has to. But normally I try to stick with products in store which are store colors, which are like a, a green and a, a light blue color. Some Montmartre brushes. See, I've got to fill that too, all my pipettes. Who doesn't love pipettes? I think these are the, you know, essence of reborning, my gosh. So much. Some tweezers. These are great when you're doing your eyelashes, just really. Hey, yes? This, sorry. Um, it's all right. Oh, uh, most likely, yeah. And some more tweezers, just a different colour and different sort of end. Hmm, that's where they are. I always lose them. I don't know why. I'm just talking to myself. I've got little end pieces lost for my scalpels. 
we've got some mini scissors here which I don't even think I have listed on my website which is just ludicrous and just other kinds of these ones are good for eyelashes you know holding the eyelashes in place so they're just a couple of, a couple of bucks each just a getting rid of sort of supply I've got all the earrings might have to do some refilling of those all about earrings they'll come again this year they've been quite a popular product so that's really really cool it's a bit endless really isn't it oh i think i just knocked half of them over i didn't not one came off needles are in a little bit of a short supply at the moment i've got a restock but i do have these ones and look there's some barcodes i did do some barcodes oh i was going to barcode all of these too Maybe I'm not as organised as I thought. These are the new three, three needle implanting needles. Um, some people just like to have, some people aren't as intricate and they just want to put, put hair in the baby. They don't care how it turns out. So that's, well, it's not they don't care how it turns out. I shouldn't say that. They're just not necessarily after that one hair look really really fine hair so this is good for that they, these have actually been quite popular actually let's put those in there before I stab myself um, and then my normal needles I've got to fix those up too goodness me oh I've got some oh my goodness someone was asking for the 42 gauge three barb the other day and I have two two left it's a shame about the others though they're all empty so I'll have to just put those in here and leave this here because they're all empty that's a bit sad but at least we can I'll fill those with the tools all of my um, brow stencils they're getting a bit low too we'll have to make another bunch of those my um, newborn ones are getting a bit low so yeah that's about it guys it's time for me to sort of head off now and you know get some of those barcodes printed up so thank you for being with me today um, hopefully I'll come back with some news next friday that it was really really an abundance of people at the show so whatever you guys are doing this weekend hope you have a great weekend be good to yourself be good to your family and get some special things done for you um no i don't have a main supplier i have suppliers all around the world janine said i haven't painted a baby in a while i miss it love pipettes and brushes becomes a collection just in reborn supplies. I know, you get obsessed with it, don't you? Uh, Kylie said, I'm making a baby now. That's nice. I love making. You've made a lot. You're doing really great. Have a good weekend, Jessica said. Deb says, bye, love and hugs. Elaine says, bye, love and hugs. Gigi says, have a great weekend, you and Angela. Thank you so much. Love you all. Thank you for just coming along with me today and checking out what I'm doing. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you next week. Well, you better talk to me next week. Okay, guys, bye. Thank you so much for joining me today. See ya.